Greetings mobile accomplishers. Here we are, the Sprint Trio Pro. We are unboxing it for you. And we're also going to take a look at Internet Explorer and compare it to some other Sprint phones. So let's take a look inside and see what we've got. As you can tell, this is the, uh, the standard packaging that Palm has switched to now. There is the phone nicely displayed. I've already taken it out once and turned it on. That's why you're seeing the uh, screensaver there. Uh, the Sprint Trio Pro should be available very soon. It's already available on Altel. Uh, on their online sales and I think it was March 15th it'll be very soon anyway on Sprint uh, you can see some of the documentation that comes with it not a full-on manual but uh, enough to get started here is the Spanish version very nice and a uh, little envelope you can use to recycle your old phone which is uh, also very nice and inside here uh, I am not seeing headphones they weren't included in my review unit I don't know if they're included in the full package or uh, they weren't listed in the box contents and then the AC adapter is a uh, new it's a new cylindrical shape uh, and uh, there's the plug and you can still twist it and uh, put in different plugs if you get an international version I suppose but since it only works in the US and Canada and Mexico and I guess uh, Korea maybe they didn't bother okay so let's go through with our comparisons we're gonna zoom in here and naturally the first phone that we are gonna want to compare it to is going to be the GSM version of the trio pro there it is, and dang, if they aren't pretty much identical. <laughs> if it weren't for that Sprint logo in the corner, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference at all. Same buttons, same dimensions, same plugs, same everything. There it is, the Sprint logo. That's how you can tell the difference. Let's compare it to another popular Windows Mobile phone on the Sprint network, the Sprint Touch Diamond. Sprint Touch Diamond has a higher resolution, uh, but it lacks things that Trio Pro has, like a physical keyboard. However, it is uh, a little bit thicker, uh, but not as wide and not as tall, so a little bit smaller option. It also has a higher megapixel camera, and uh, it comes in that cool red color if you want. So there it is. Uh, let's, of course, compare it to the predecessor, the Trio 800W. Now, these are uh, very similar phones, but also uh, different. The 800W is, of course, much thicker, uh, and that is noticeable in your pocket. And you can see there, you can uh, really tell the difference. It's also not as curved on the back as the, uh, the Trio Pro. Trio Pro also has a 3.5 millimeter headset jack, which the 800W lacks. Uh, Trio Pro has a Wi-Fi button. So does the 800W, but the 800W lacks the power button, which the Trio Pro has. They both have ringer switches, of course. And uh, the other difference, of course, is going to be the keyboard. The keyboard on the 800W is, frankly, better. 800W also has uh, physical buttons for the soft keys, which the Trio Pro lacks. Although that doesn't matter too much to me because the Trio Pro has a flush screen where the 800W doesn't. And uh, you can see I'm trying out the keyboards there. I'm very used to the Trio Pro keyboard. Uh, I'm happy with it. I like it a lot. But uh, I do have to admit that the 800W's keyboard is a bit better. Both have 320 by 320 screens, and you can see the difference in the default home screens there. But let's focus in on the Trio Pro and start to take a look at some of the features we've got here. Well, the first thing I want to do is look at Internet Explorer. This is the main new software feature of the Trio Pro on Sprint. It features Internet Explorer 6, uh, Internet Explorer Mobile 6. We'll uh, try and load it up on the 800W. Oh, I don't know if I have service there, so we might have to let that one go. Yeah, I do not have service, so we're going to let that one go. Anyway, back to Internet Explorer 6. It's based on uh, the Internet Explorer 6 uh, encoding engine, or uh, rendering engine, excuse me. And so let's uh, type in a website here and see how it uh, it pops up. You can see I am pretty facile there with the Trio Pro keyboard. You can get used to it very quickly. So if you're if that's what's holding you back from upgrading, uh, I wouldn't let it. I think you'll be okay with the keyboard in uh, uh, very short order. You can see there that my uh, my EBDO signal is pretty poor, so I'm going to hit the convenient Wi-Fi button to turn on Wi-Fi, and maybe we'll get uh, a little bit better connection from that. And uh, you can see standard Windows Mobile thing pops up. You choose your network, and you punch in your password, which... I probably shouldn't show you, so we'll uh, take the phone off screen while I punch in my password. Do, 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 there's my hand. I am wrinkly and old. That's okay. Here we go. Okay, so and it turns out we did end up loading the, uh, the site over, uh, over Evdo anyway. And so you can see you can scroll around and you've got a little uh, mouse pointer there now instead of uh, clicking through different links. And it, uh, it, you know, it gives you a little bit better feel of the, the site, uh, how it's meant to be rendered on desktop. Although it does mean you're going to be spending a bit more time actually scrolling around. Uh, I have it in desktop view now. Let's switch it to mobile. 
and then refresh the page and see what we're looking at there. I'll hit refresh and it'll take a bit of time here. Now uh, over at WM Experts you might want to go check it out. There's a story that Malatesta put up having uh, used this browser for quite a while about the straight story and the gist of it is that uh, if you are uh, freaking out because you do not have Internet Explorer 6 on your Windows mobile device on your Trio 800W or your 700WX or whatever you've got or your Trio Pro and GSM, you don't need to totally worry about it because frankly it's not that much greater. Yes, it supports Flash and you can watch YouTube movies, but uh, you can see even here in mobile mode uh, there's a lot of scrolling around that needs to happen and uh, the double tap doesn't zoom you in and out. You need to go to the zoom out button. You can hit it with you know menu and then Z, but it's still a pain. But then you can see if you look at the full version here, even in mobile mode, it looks very, very proper. This is what the web page is supposed to look like, which is great. The difficulty is that uh, even though that's what the web page is supposed to look like, the navigation is actually uh, a little bit difficult. Like I want to hit that FAQ link. I've got a dot 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 there. I got it. Whereas on the old version of Internet Explorer, it would highlight, it would jump between links automatically, which is a bit more convenient. But once you get to where you want to go, you get to your column of text, you can scroll around pretty easily. Uh, you can drag the screen around with your finger, but as you can see here, the responsiveness isn't um, isn't what it ought to be. It isn't that great. And quite frankly, uh, the Trio Central site is not very complicated. It's a, a currently a table-based layout. There's not a lot of complicated CSS. It's not even very graphically heavy. Uh, so the fact that the, the browser isn't able to drag scroll it uh, very easily is not a great sign. So as with the previous version of Internet Explorer, you're probably going to want to find yourself looking for mobile versions of sites. Another issue with uh, Internet Explorer 6 is that uh, it's relatively heavy. That does uh, what some people think is one of the reasons for the delay in the ROM or in the release because they were updating the ROM. So I'm going to open up a bunch of programs here in the foreground and see if it'll stay running in the background because uh, Malatesta said over that article that it often closes in the background. So we'll take a tour here, look at some of the apps that come on there. It looks like Bejeweled 2 comes on. That's pretty exciting. I'm not going to bother entering a name. It looks like it wants to close itself. There's Sudoku. There's Solitaire. And let's see what else we've got here. We'll open the MyTrio app. There's a little help app that they include. Let's take another tour of programs. We've got a com manager, of course. You can download WorldMate. There's a file browser. And you can see here, we're, uh, we're actually pretty snappy, uh, which is, isn't too bad. We're opening up programs with Aplomb, which is uh, pretty nice to see. You can see all the contacts that come preloaded on the Trio Pro. Uh, look, we've got an instant messaging program. We've got internet sharing, both built in. Very nice to see. And look at that. Kenoma Freeplay comes right on board. And this is actually the best way to get to your uh, YouTube videos and stream the Trio Central Palmcast. Uh, we're not going to take the time to activate it right now. We'll, we'll leave it in the background. What the heck? Uh, PC setup. That is the uh, clever thing where when you plug it into a PC, it automatically gives you uh, active sync so you don't have to bother with a install CD, which is very cool. Pocket Express also included. Nice to see that on board if uh, you like that program. I'm not a fan myself, but it's kind of cool. Sprint Music, if you're a Sprint Music person. Remote Desktop, very cool. Sprint Navigation, comes with GPS, of course. And a Sprite Backup for backing up your programs. And here's Sprint TV, which is also pretty neat to see directly on board. So let's load this up and see what kind of responsiveness we get out of Sprint TV now that we have a bunch of apps running in the background. And we'll get a little welcome movie here, and that's pretty fancy. Turn up the volume, but I'm doing the voiceover after the fact. And so you can see it's uh, it's playing the video pretty decently, and it's uh, it's managing very well. So uh, this is something that the GSM version of the Trio Pro, frankly, it might have started to bog down on me at this point. But this uh, the CDMA version is definitely handling it without uh, without much problem. And so you can see how Sprint TV works here. You've got different channels, and eventually you've got to pay for some of them, but some of them are free, like, for example, your CNN program here. And it'll... There it is. There's a video, and that's playing. Some guy's talking, and that's exciting. So there you go, the new Sprint Trio Pro. A little bit faster than the GSM version, uh, smaller than the 800W. It's even got Titan, new way to handle Java. We're going to have much, much more about this at Trio Central, and probably a little at WM Experts, too. So stay tuned.